Now for this video, we're going to design the story section found here on top. So real quick, let's go back to our code. In here, in the aside, which is on the left side, we can simply add comment saying stories. Here, let's add a section. Inside the section, we're gonna have a list with some, actually let's add classes for now. So it's gonna be a flex. Here, overflow, x, auto, item, center, gap, two. All right, and then for the list, we're going to have flex co, because we're gonna have elements stacked on top of each other. Flex column, here, justify, center, width, let's make it a good 20, and the gap to one, and the padding of about two. Padding of about two. All right, awesome. Now, inside the list here, we're going to add the avatar that we added before this avatar because this if we don't add the source what it does if the source does not exist it's going to add an svg replacement so that's why i created this just to help us you know have a better your user experience like that so if there's no image it will just show a placeholder which is this icon and we'll see what this icon does next so in here you can say the x avatar like that make sure that you add a forward slash in the end so we can just add a class for now since we need to pass the height let's say 14 and width 14 all right now if we go to our code and check it out you see that we have this you see so if we do not have a source passed to this avatar it's going to, it's going to just show the placeholder which is good so now Let's add a P element down here. Let's call this one text. You can say extra small because you know we don't want to make it big. And the font of medium. And let's truncate just to add some cut some dots when the text overflows. Here we can use the faker. So here type fake name. Here make sure that the no we don't have this. Actually, let's remove everything. Here say fake name. All right, now you see it's going to add a fake name, which is overflowing with ellipses here if the text is too long. So now for the image, what are we going to do about it? We can just use this thing I use for development. So here we can just type with me here. And if you, know, you can simply, I'll post the code. You can simply copy the full code if you want to move faster. So you type HTTPS, two forward slashes here, type source dot unsplash.com next we're going to type the size of the image 500 x 500 question mark let's say face all right let's just let's see if it's gonna work for now if we refresh awesome now you can see we get a different face for each time we refresh our page so this is good it's working fine so now let me show you one other feature i added in the image avatar which is actually good and it's gonna save us some time so here in the avatar you see that if it has this variable story and if it's story it's just going to add some gradient border gradients just like instagram does it so let me show you how this works in here we can just add this story like that and then if we go and refresh you see that we have this new this good ring around the image which is showing that this is actually this person has a story all right so that's it for this video. And now let me just show you how it looks like with many stories. So here we can just copy this and then here say for, we want the four, not the four H, four. This is equals to 10 and then count here on the count, make this one 10 and then paste the code. Make sure you don't lose the code. Copy the, cut the code first and then paste it inside, paste it inside this count. Yes, and now if we go back and refresh, you see that we have these good images looking like that and they're overflowing good like that and also if just to make it more dynamic in here let's get the eye here in the face add hyphen or brackets here paste the eye so this can show us different images with different indexes awesome now this is working good all right so i think that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.